Hi, I'm Darren Kennelly with Berkey's Farm Store Precision Farming Specialist, and today we're in between Sterling and Rock Falls working with a customer, Kurt Swanson, who planted with uh, WAS. He wanted to try WAS and did have some troubles with accuracy, but we had told him he was going to have trouble with accuracy. He wanted to try range point. We thought that would be a little more consistent, even though we generally don't recommend that for planting. We thought it would be better than WAS or knew it would be better than WAS. So where you're updating his monitor, I had to put version 28.6 Precision Farming in the monitor. So I did that and made sure his nav controller was on 3.9 and his uh, 372 was on 3.05. So we got everything upgraded. We've called Omnistar. They've given us the range point subscription. And we are converging on range point. We're having a little bit of issues now. It seems to not be really wanting to converge on range point. We've tried central. Now we're trying eastern. In this territory, sometimes we have to bounce back and forth. Uh, one signal might be a little better in some areas and the other signal might be better in other areas. So we're just waiting to get locked on here. Once we do, we'll re-roll cal it because we know it was roll cal on WASP before. We want to roll cal on a better signal. So we're going to re-roll cal it as soon as we get signal here. They typically are some of the smoother jobs. You usually don't have a lot of issues. Sometimes there can be some issues. If you lose your calibrations, you got to load your calibrations back in. You always want to make sure you all back up any data you can before you do it. Usually they're smoother, but you never know when you're going to have a hang up, like not being able to hook up onto range point for some reason. But uh, usually they're pretty smooth, and we do that very regularly throughout the year. Yeah, it does take quite a bit of patience, especially when you have a lot of places to go that particular day. But yeah, sometimes you spend half your time just waiting for something to lock on, like now we're waiting for signal to lock on. And even once it locks on, I'm probably going to give it a little extra time to make sure we're good and locked on that signal before I do something important like a calibration. But yeah, patience can be uh, difficult at times waiting for signal or different things to connect. Well, when he bought this system, we recommended he go to something better than WAS. We would have recommended at least Omnistar or potentially even RTX since he has a 372. So that's our recommendation. Guys don't always do that, but our hope was for this particular individual that he'll eventually uh, make that step, upgrade the receiver, and get a better signal if he's going to do important things like planting. Accuracy is very addictive, so a lot of times when you start with a basic system and you get familiar with that, you want to upgrade because you see some of the shortfallings you have of not having an accurate signal, and that's where we want to be there to be able to upgrade them. And yeah, upgrade path is very important for us.